Hey everybody, it's Isaac from Cambridge Foods by Isaac. Um, if you've been watching my uh, YouTube videos, following my channel or my Facebook page, you've seen me post a lot of product reviews and about the uh, variety of things that we can enjoy on the Cambridge program. But I haven't really yet gone into the details of what the Cambridge program actually is. And um, it's actually something that's been around since the uh, early 80s. And the Cambridge program, actually it's a combination of things because you do have, on one hand, you have the weight loss program. Uh, on another hand, you have um, just wellness and nutrition um, and weight maintenance. So it's not just about a diet. And then, of course, there are the foods that you can enjoy um, to follow one of these programs, either way, to either lose weight, maintain your weight. Um, they also do have some exercise information available, too. The thing that most people focus on is the diet feature. And even among the diets, there are a few different things that you can do. So I actually have some material from Cambridge here that I'm going to just read off some highlights for you. Of course, I'll post links in the video to um, my Cambridge online store where it has all the links about the uh, going into the details of the program. So first of all, <clears throat> you have a few options. Um, and what most people do, if you want to lose a lot of weight quick, they do have a fast start program. Now with that fast start program, you're basically going to do, um, depending on the formula you choose, there's the Cambridge Food for Life, uh, which is what I highly recommend. That is three servings a day of the shakes or soups. Um, they have the oatmeal. They also have um, nutrition bars that you can have. However, on the fast, um, fast program, you should stay away from the bars. Reason being that when you're on the fast program, what you're doing is you're not eating any food. You're just doing either the shakes, the soups, or the oatmeal. And that may sound harsh to some people. I know some people are really, really into food. And this is only an option. This is not a requirement. Uh, but if you do choose to do the fast start program, which is what I did, and even though I cheated on it, I lost quite a bit. Um, the Fast Start program is you have basically three shakes a day of the Food for Life program and you supplement that with a lot of water. You want to have eight to ten servings, uh, eight ounce servings of water throughout the day. So that means that you're going to be in the bathroom a lot um, until your body kind of adjusts to that. Um, now for many people who drink a lot of water regularly, that's not an issue at all. Um, for me, it took a little adjusting, a couple of days, but perfectly fine with that. That's, again, the Fast Start program. On the Fast Start program, it is not unusual for people to lose anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds in two weeks' time, um, sometimes more than that. And um, like I say, I followed that program to get started. And you do feel hungry in the beginning. There are some things that you can do to um, kind of alleviate that a little bit. Um, within the uh, Cambridge instructions, if you order a kit, they do talk about preparation you can do before you even start the program. Now, I don't know too much about the preparation before starting the Fast Start program. I kind of jumped right in, as most people I know also did. Um, but with the Fast Start program, it kind of weans you slowly off of foods. Um, that way you're not feeling so hungry all the time. So it's a gradual process. I think it's about two weeks or so. Again, there's details about this on the Cambridge main page, which you can reach through my store. Um, but for the rest of us, we just jumped right in and we did the three shakes a day with the water. Um, my brother actually did it faithfully and he, I don't know how he did it. I got hungry. But the way that you can kind of cheat, and again, this is up to you, what's nice is that the Cambridge program is very flexible and very forgiving. So what I would do on the program when I cheated is I would do the um, Fiber One. They had 100 calorie English muffins. So sometimes I'd just have that with the tiniest bit of butter or put a little bit of jam on it. Uh, or I would even turn them into little mini pizzas. And if you read labels, you can calculate the calories and know how much you're putting into your body. Now what I would do is I might just wait all day until my hungriest point of the day and I would have my snack then. Another option you can do is eat lots of salad. Most ingredients in a salad, most of those veggies, actually even though they have calories, they're called zero calorie foods and that's because you use more calorie, you burn more calories um, chewing and eating these um, 
these vegetables than the vegetable actually contains. So an example of that might be lettuce or cucumbers. Um, what I did actually is I bought pickles. I like dill pickles a lot. So if I got really hungry and wanted a quick snack, I might have one or two dill pickles and I know it was very low calorie. So of course, even though I was putting those extra calories into me, it wasn't really adding up to much and the weight was just coming off. Basically, your body will burn 420 calories a day doing absolutely nothing. And the great thing is with the Cambridge Food for Life programs, that's exactly how many calories um, equal the three shakes in the day. So really you're, you're not gaining, you're not burning, but you're getting your day's nutrition. And then what matters is what you have in addition to that. So of course, if you're not having anything, your body is feeding off of the fat in your body and um, helping you burn off those, those calories and that extra storage. And as a result of that, a lot of times people will actually feel a little burst of energy because your body's getting energy from a new source and you're getting all this new nutrition. I know for me and most people that are heavy, nutrition isn't your goal when you're eating. So most people have never really had a proper day's nutrition. And when you have it, it really, really brings you alive. And you feel good, and you have energy, you actually want to move and do stuff. So it's, it's a really great thing. Now of course, Cambridge does um, have some exercise guidelines that you can follow. The beautiful thing about this, um, if you've seen my other videos, I don't exercise. I have a lot of problems with balance and migraines where most of the time if I get up and try to do things I get a head rush or I get dizzy and vertigo and I fall down. So an exercise program isn't for me. That's what the appeal was for me. It's like how am I going to lose this weight if I am not going to exercise? And with Cambridge it doesn't matter. Of course if you do exercise you're going to burn off that much more. Um, sometimes doing menial things, little house cleaning here and there or I go out and shovel snow, mow the lawn. You burn off some calories that way and that's my exercise. Um, so just, again, people that think that, well, I have to you know, join a gym and do all these other things, it's not necessary on the Cambridge program. Um, so I'm actually going to break this down into several videos because there's a lot to discuss. So this is going to be it for the fast track program, as I like to call it. Um, the next video will feature the regular program.